Good morning, everyone. I've been having some issues with this 7000 Alice. When I originally got this Alice Chalmers 7000, it is a maroon belly, but when I originally got it, a lot of things just didn't work on it. And most of it was simply that somebody had took some stuff apart and they never put anything back together when it came to the controls. So when I originally got it, I had some issues with it not going so I can third gear on, so the power shift side, right? Not the actual straight gear, so not first through fourth, but the power shift, so like low, medium, and high range. Low range worked fine, medium range worked fine, but on high range, a lot of times it would work and then it would stop working. And it seemed kind of odd to me, so didn't check any pressures there. I didn't have that knowledge base yet. Long story short, now I'm having the same issue after I've adjusted everything about a couple weeks later, where I'm having the same issue, but now it's low range that's doing it. And when I check the pressures, which you can do that by taking out this plug right here, I'm gonna show you how to check the pressures on your Alice Chalmers 7000 power shift. Now, this is for the power shift mechanism, not the straight gears. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need a 7 16th, and you're gonna take off this plug right here. But before I do that, make sure that you have something under here because it's probably gonna leak a little bit of fluid. Now this tractor's been off for a few days, so it shouldn't leak a whole lot, but it probably will leak. Oh no, it didn't leak anything, good deal. So we're gonna take that off, and we're gonna set it right here so we don't lose it. In that port, we have threaded in a pressure tester. Now your pressure tester needs to go up to at least 200 and we'll say 230 PSI because this test port should read anywhere between 190 and 230 and it doesn't matter which range it's in, that's where it should be. So we've got that tight enough it shouldn't leak. So right now we're at 190 PSI. Now this is in medium range, right? So number two. If I go to third, same thing, it stays up high where it's supposed to be. Okay. So that's what's inside of there and it actually, nothing looks goofy with it. And the more I look in there, the, there's a little bit more dirt in there yet. So I do wonder if that's probably some of the issue. I don't know how well, I don't think you guys will be able to see in there at all just because of the camera. There's a little bit more dirt inside of here yet. We're gonna get that out. All right, so we saw how this didn't move freely, which is a problem because if this can't move, then it can't allow whatever openings for passages to flow. So I'm gonna show you these pages because they might be useful for you all. This is out of the actual 7,000, Alice Chalmers 7,000 uh, service manual. This is volume two of two. And you can pause it and zoom in and, and see what you need. But ultimately I looked at this to see how this comes apart and kind of what's inside of it. However, now that I've kind of seen this dirt there, and then I'm gonna show you another check that we did. So again, these are all your service manuals, just kind of what it's showing you. If you need to look at it, just pause the video. And this just talks about all of them. Now it does specify inside of here that they should move freely. Well, if they can't, like, this one, for instance, that will cause it to not be able to shift because all of these are working together to move flow of hydraulic fluid to a certain location, and it's gonna come out of one of these orifices right here. I'll show you what those do. We're at roughly about 110 pounds of compressed air. Uh, if you have more, great. If you actually had 190 PSI, that'd be even better, so you can test this with the appropriate pressures. However, I don't, so we're gonna make do with what we got. Let's see how we're gonna use this bottom test port, or sorry, the bottom port right there. And we're gonna watch and see what it does. It should move this middle clutch pack. And it does. Now it does have a relief up there where it's that hole. That's allowing some of uh, the air to bypass through, as you can see. Now this top, or sorry, the middle one right here, 
This middle one right here should move this front one. And it does. Now it doesn't move very far, but if you notice, the middle one, it moved, but it didn't move as far as what you would kind of expect or think. Especially when you watch this last one move. I'm on the wrong one. Now watch this last one move. And it moves a lot. Now, all of that being said, I don't know how much each of them are supposed to move. However, I know that second and third, or sorry, high and mid-range, both worked appropriately and had the appropriate pressures. Which makes me believe that each one is only supposed to move a, a each one is going to move a different amount. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The it didn't fix our pressures. It's uh, it's one of those things. Um, just gonna have to split the tractor apparently this winter. That'll be a good time because we won't need it then, and that'll be the ideal time to to solve that problem. Until then, I guess we'll have to source some parts. But thanks for watching. I hope you have a blessed week, and we'll see you next time.